Hi everyone, I'm Gabriel Zamora and thank you so much for watching. So for today's video, I wanted to do a fully dedicated video to one of my best friends. She launched her own makeup brand. Oh my God, Laura Lee Los Angeles. <gasps> Cat's pajamas, you guys. I'm super excited. This comes out October 13th. Friday the 13th, so make sure you keep your eyes out for it. But I wanted to do a full video because I'm super beyond excited for my friend to literally launch a brand. And I wanted to create a look. Gabriel, you always do a bronze dye. The f are you gonna do another bronze dye for? So I decided to like play with it a little bit more and go more for the burgundy side of it. I think it's gonna be great also for fall. I think this is one of my best friends and she launched a brand. I'm just beyond excited. Like, I just love Laura to death. She literally has like such a major part of my heart. So I love her and I'm more than happy to support a friend. And it's crazy because I like, I saw this before it was this. Like it's taken her, if you haven't watched her video, make sure you go watch it because she fully explains the whole process of it. But it took her about two years to be able to get to this point. She would get like lab samples of shadows and she'd be like, I want kind of this color, this consistency. And she really went back and forth for a while to get make sure she had the right quality, which I really appreciate because you can't just be a beauty influencer and then like slap your name on something if you can't back up the quality. So I can honestly attest that she really put in work in making sure that the quality of these shadows are amazing. Amazing. Like, I just love it, you guys. I think it's such a cool palette. This top row is my obsession. This is literally all I've been wearing as of recently. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. You know what? Let's do some swatches, you guys. So first up, we're gonna swatch Okie Dokie, which is like this kind of like bone color that is great for like setting. If you put like concealer on your eye or to highlight like your brow bone, then you have Scatterbrain, which is a more golden-y color. And it's just a really beautiful color. Then you have Bomb Diggity, which is honestly, this is all I've needed in my entire life. Like it's literally the best color for medium and like tan skin skin tones. Then you have Cray Cray, which is a more like orangey brown. It's great for transition, especially for a smoky eye. Then you have Redonculus, which is a gorgeous copper color. Then you have Quirky. So this is the warm tone shimmery purple. And then you have Kooky, which is a matte kind of burgundy color. <laughs> then you have In One Ear, which is a shimmer burgundy color. Then you have Out The Other, which is a cool toned plum shimmer. And then you have Oddball, which is a black. It has a little bit of gold shimmer in it, you guys, but it's not gonna like be fully gold. It just has like a little bit of it. I literally have been using it like day in and day out, especially for like my everyday looks. Like these browns are just everything for the everyday look and then you can amp it up. Let me stop talking about it and let's get right into the tutorial. Okay, you guys, so I've prepped my eye. I use Tarte Shape Tape. I see Makeup by Michael Finch do it all the time and he uses a Tarte Shape Tape, so I used it in the color medium because it's a lot lighter. I use it kind of like a concealer. I put it on the eye and I'm gonna start off with Okie Dokie with a tapered blending brush by Luxie. I'm just gonna grab the color just to set the concealer in like windshield kind of wiper motion. I'm gonna be using Bomb Diggity, which is this camel color, and slightly going into Cray Cray. So I'll majority be using this color and then just slightly dab it in there. And what you wanna do is just keep it relatively close to the crease. Of course, you're gonna be diffusing it out into a little bit into the brow bone as well as into the eyelid, but you're focusing, focusing, focusing the color more so in the crease itself. Without grabbing any product, I'm just gonna do a couple swipes over that. It has a little bit of product on the brush, of course, but just to kind of make it not as white because I am tan. But I use that color just to set the concealer so it wouldn't move. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with the Morphe M433 brush. It's just like this large kind of packing shadow. And I'm gonna grab Cray Cray now and just pack it on the tip of the brush. Like so. This is why I like to do that bronzy eye. I do it all the time, especially under different eye looks. So that's why I've gotten it down to like a science. It's such a great eyeshadow palette, you guys. The reason why I like it is because this is literally Laura. Like these are her colors. That's one of the things that I liked about the shadow is that I'm like, this is Laura in a palette. Like that is so cool. Like these are all the colors that she like uses and she loves. So I'm like, my little Laura Lee made a little palette. Using it out. 
One trick also, you guys, if you really want to diffuse the edges a little bit more, one thing I've been learning is that same brush that I used to pack on that white shadow, the Okie Doki. I just grab, I literally just tap once. Tap off any excess. And on the edge of the shadow, you can literally buff it out. And it just like really diffuses it a lot softer without having to go in and over blend. So to deepen out the outer part, I'm gonna go in with Kooky right here. And this is just a eye shading brush by Luxie. It's kind of like the Morphe one, but just like smaller. And not as fluffier, it's more like for packing. And just start packing right there. If you have brown eyes, this is such a beautiful color. Purple complements brown very well. So I had to bring on my brown contacts for you guys just to create this look, just so it complements the eyes. So I'm gonna go in with Bomb Diggity and do the bottom, the lower lash line. Apply more right there. I'm gonna go back in with my Lexi brush and I'm gonna play with Kooky again. And just really pack it on right there. I know I'm doing a lot of packing, you guys. I feel like I'm going on a trip somewhere <laughs> while it's packing. And I'm gonna go in with In One Ear, which is kind of like the metallic version of this little nugget right here. And I'm just gonna grab the color. Grabs on so fucking pigmented, it's so beautiful. And I'm gonna focus it on the outer corner first. I haven't done this look, so I don't know what all I wanna do. Oh my God, look how pigmented that is. I didn't even have to spray my like brush. Oh wow, okay. Just a random dirty little brush. I'm just gonna buff out the edges on this. Yeah, I poke my eye and it's like so watery now. See, ooh. Okay, now let me do the other eye and then I'll be right back. Okay, and now for liner, I want it to be a very dramatic look. I'm gonna grab my It's Cosmetics No Tug Waterproof Anti-Aging Gel Eyeliner. Anti-aging. The reason why I like this is because it is a no tug type of liner. Like it's so pigmented and so creamy. Oh, my eyes are so watery. Oh, that eye is so watery. It's not even like applying. Don't poke your eye when you do your shadow. It's gonna mess the whole thing up. I forgot who I saw do that. Someone did that recently. Oh, that's so pigmented. It's so beautiful. Come on, man, yammy way. And then just grab a little bit on the tip of the brush, just the tip. I feel like everybody makes that joke. <laughs> but I just made it do. So then I'm gonna get really close to the lash line. And there we go. Now let me do it to the other eye and then I'll be right back. Okay you guys, so I did kind of the rest of my face. I added some bronzer, some blush, and then I finished the liner. I put on some mascara and now I'm putting on lashes, you guys. I want it to be kind of like wispy and still have space but with length because when you have such like a pigmented eye like and a deeper color, lashes can really get lost. So I wanted to just give it a whimsical look. So I'm using Opulence by Lily Lashes. As you can see, look, they're very long, but they're still kind of like spread out. If they were two next to each other, you could not see the color. And I still want to be able to see the color, but you can still tell that the eye is finished because like it just looks darker and they're just like wispy, wispy lashes. Now I'm gonna put on the other eye. I'm gonna finish the rest of my face. And then I'll be right back. No, that's the eye with no lash. Look at this eye. And this is a final look, you guys. This is it, oh my God. I really like how it came out, you guys. I'm really super excited for this palette. It's honestly everything. Like, I absolutely, absolutely love it. I'm very proud of my friend because she came out with her own makeup brand. Like, that's super, super exciting. I'm like, this is literally Laura. Like, these are her colors. I really love that. I'm so excited for my friend, you guys. So. I definitely give this a thumbs up. It's a really good price point. You get a lot of amazing shadows and they're very pigmented, which is really great. So it's made in the US, you guys, and that's 
I don't know if that makes a difference for y'all. I think that's really cool and I really like it. From the bottom of my heart, look, I'm wearing her little gimmicky shirt. I would put on my Laura Lee Los Angeles hat, like the chill bra, but I just got Botox on my forehead and my like nurse said, do not put anything on your forehead, so. That's as good as it's gonna get. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you leave any comments, questions, concerns down in the comment section down below if you're not already. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and until next time.